kind of a tree, are you? Would you think you're a tree? Now? I hope I'm not an L with Ducky. Ah, uh, journalism. And that wasn't even the White House press corps. And I'll tell you what she should have asked. What kind of flower are you? I'm Mark Rahner, and that's our subject for today. That's right, what kind of flower are you? There's a Seattle artist who answers this question for women by looking into their essences. Now my experience with this sort of thing is limited to a little vaguely inappropriate Giorgio O'Keefe viewing, so let's find out what this guy does, and if there are any potential lawsuits. Most recent uh, adventure is the Flowers of You, which is paintings uh, where I paint the essence of a woman just by talking with her for maybe a minute or two, or, uh, or talking with somebody about her. I can paint her essence in flowers. How do I know you're not just making this stuff up? For instance, if you say you see someone as a rose, the person's essence could be an orchid, and nobody would know. Is there some kind of regulatory body for this? <laughs> well, it really comes down to how well the person likes the painting. And I've had stories from people that are I mean, truly amazing. Like they'll come up to me and say, "Those are the colors I have in my apartment." Or uh, one one woman recently said, "It just totally captures my daughter. Totally captures her warmth and her uh, goodness, and just things like that." Where it seems to be hitting the mark. I'm not a trained artist, but I just want to see what you think of this. Here's one of an ex-girlfriend. I can see why she's an ex-girlfriend. I think she'd be mad that I made the stem too wide. <laughs> so this is Oprah right here. Tell me how you came about. I can't really put it into words, and that's why I paint it. But it just—it was just somehow I get my feeling about the person and then put it on the canvas. All right. So if that's Oprah, though, shouldn't the canvas be a little larger? <laughs> one would one would think so. Right, let's try something here. I'll tell you the names of some other women, famous women, and you tell me the kind of flower you think captures their essence. I, okay. I hope I know the women. <laughs> Condoleezza Rice. I'm, I'm a terrible politics person. I don't really keep up okay, with I'll, politics. I'll help you out on this one. Okay. Titan Arum, also known as the corpse flower. Octomom. Boy, I must apologize. This is I, I get I get made fun of by friends of mine all the time. They think I live on another planet. Right? Right, I'll help you out on this. Too. Okay. Dandelion. Dandelion. You get that? Spores. Miss California. You know, I'm, the only thought I had immediately was some sort of yellow flower, but it, it, it's not a real good read. I think I was just thinking of California. Right, I That's think I have an idea okay. about that one, too. Now, I understand you've never done a flower essence portrait of a man before, so uh, take a minute to soak in my essence. Okay. And let's see what you come up with. say about who I am. So that, that's what is so difficult. Again, it's so much not in words, but for some reason when I talk to you or I just perceive you, this is an image that somehow captures you to me and I have no idea. I don't know why that is exactly. It's not now let's sum up. The artist who takes in your essence and depicts it as beautiful flowers looked into me and saw a wave-swept cliff. I'll be sending that portrait directly to my therapist. But maybe your essence is in the eye of the beholder. Sometimes you need a second opinion when it's something important. So I'm getting one from Brendan Wenberg here, who specializes in a different kind of portraiture. And through the magic of video, Brendan's done. Here you go, man. It's like one of those cooking shows. And I gotta say, this time I think you really captured my essence. And I'm beautiful. Focusing right now on Mother's Day, so how do you feel about painting a portrait of my mother? I would be excited to do that. Her floral essence. I would be very excited to do that, yeah. <laughs> Come on down, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Robert. Hi. Hi, Mom. Okay. What are you thinking right now? Oh, just feeling it. Just feeling your mother's essence. Something about her that just. She has a, a very distinct essence. Is there anything you can describe? <sighs> Otherworldliness, definitely. Hmm. Well, I 
perceived your mother, you know, as best I could, you know, just, I don't try to force anything, but I just go with my feelings, and just, she didn't say a whole lot, but I can still perceive her. Well, like I said, and, she's shy. What are we looking yeah, at, then? What have you and, painted? And then I just, I suppose if you were to put it in, in words, I felt there's something otherworldly about your mom, and I had something about her, and I, I obviously created a universe here that's not entirely perfectly earth-like, you know, it's something... You know, the yellow sky. That I got. I had an overwhelming sense of yellow when I talked to your mother. And I, again, I can't explain exactly why that is, but but then uh, okay, something you know, just sweeping and sort of spacious. You really don't want to be calling a woman spacious, do you? Well, of course, not in the physical sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. But but in the spiritual sense, you know, there's a yeah. You kind of get the sense that there's a a, a depth of a person there that there's a depth to them a spaciousness in that sense where you, where there'd be perhaps some unusual large space to explore